Oh, you want to be in the video? Yes, you do. She wants to be in the video. That's how I talk to my dog. Um, right. Okay. Testing times for the fitness industry over the past couple of days. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Simon Booth. I run a company called The Strong Program. We, <laughs> you want to be in the video. Uh, we've been delivering online training uh, programs to clients all around the world for about eight years now. But most importantly for you guys watching this video, um, I run a company called Strong Media. We provide video marketing campaigns for PTs, coaches, um, anyone in the fitness industry, uh, video marketing campaigns, adverts, testimonials, but most importantly to you guys, exercise library videos. Now, over the next coming months, and you know, this is just gonna be a period of time. We are gonna get through this. Yeah, we're gonna work together. I'm gonna try and teach you as much as I can over a series of videos. Um, but video marketing and videos are gonna play an important role in your business over the next coming months. Um, and at this moment in time of making this video, <laughs> um, gyms are currently closing, gym floors are quiet, clients are canceling. So it's more important than ever to provide your clients with, um, with exercises, programs that they can do remotely. After watching this video, you're gonna be able to, uh, to, to make some amazing Instagram lives, Facebook lives, an exercise library, or even filming some sessions that you can upload. Um, and I get that most of you aren't gonna have a home gym, lighting set up, and an expensive camera. So we're gonna do this all you, the only thing you're going to need is a smartphone. That is literally all you're going to need. Um, and these uh, smartphones are great as long as we've got a few key things worked out, as long as we've got some good lighting and some good composition. But I'm going to teach you how to do it, aren't I? Teach you how to do it, Bluebell. Yeah. All ah. right, she's ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Right, so as you can see, the iPhone images are great. Nokia's great, Samsung's great. The, all these new smartphones are absolutely fantastic. They're not far off these expensive DLSR or mirrorless cameras. The main thing that we wanna look out for is a nice, bright area. So lighting's key for video. Poor lighting in a video just does not look good, okay? So, and also working with the lighting. So this image is gonna be much better than this image. So ideally, I wanna be shooting this way. So this is gonna be my area that I'm gonna work with. Um, the other thing is composition. Composition is fairly simple. It's just keeping your background nice and simple, clean and tidy. Um, another thing is just making sure there's just not a lot of clutter about. So just have a little bit of the tidy up, clear some space, and we're gonna get cracking. I'm gonna tidy this up, and then I'm gonna show you a little thing how you can set your camera up without using a tripod, because I've got a tripod, I've got loads of tripods here, but I know a lot of you guys that are gonna be watching this haven't got all the equipment. All you need for, for what we're learning in this video is literally your phone. You don't need anything else. I'm gonna show you how you can get that set up. So I'm gonna get tidied up and then get started. Right, I call this setup three cups, one guy, and an iPhone, and a dog. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, right, okay, so whether you're creating Instagram Lives or an exercise library, um, you're gonna wanna run some tests before you start filming. So you don't want no headless burpees. Headless burpees look rubbish, and I see this all the time in gyms, people on Instagram posting videos. Right, so I know if I do, if I do a bodyweight squat here, or some reverse lunges, it's perfectly framed. So you can see my feet are in frame, my head's in frame, I'm in frame. But if I do some headless burpees, doesn't look good, doesn't look good. So run some tests. Once, you've, once you're happy, well lit, everything, we can get going. So if you're doing an Instagram live, you can just crack on. 
hit record, get out to your groups, get your clients organized, set a time, good to go. If you're making an exercise library to upload to YouTube and then onto a training software, which we're gonna talk about uh, when we get into the office, you're gonna wanna make individual videos. So write out a list of your videos, write out a list of your programs, what, you're gonna be, what, what is gonna be going into your programs, write that list and then just crack on. Pick the time of day that you're filming. Right, if you start at 12 o'clock, it's gonna take you three or four hours to get through two, 300 videos, uh, depending on how many you wanna do, that is. But you don't want the natural light disappearing and filming in the dark, because trust me, iPhone images or any smartphone images in the dark do not look good. So pick the right time of day so it's all you know, like similar lighting right throughout the day, and just crack on. Each time you do it, just check that you're in frame, check that you've done, hit record, do the exercise, come back, pre press stop, and go on to the next one. And then we're gonna go into the office and I'm gonna show you how to do, how to little, do the little cuts, do the little cuts. You ready, Bluebell? Right, let's get cracking. Right. Right, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, everything is gonna be edited, we don't even need this. Goodbye. Uh, everything can be done off your phone. It's dead simple. You can use a laptop if you want. We're going to use a software called iMovie that comes free on the iPhone. I'm sure Samsung and Nokia have something very similar that all pretty much run the same. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the the app. And these, a, I've got to go into my camera all the way. Oh God, I don't know what's going to come up. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, it's all good. It's just dog photos. Right, okay, so I'm gonna open up the video, create movie. I actually filmed three. You have got the option of doing this, so you can record multiple videos on one and just cut and snip them. So I'm just gonna show you how to, I'm gonna show you how to get the first one out first. So this is my non-headless burpee exercise. Right, so I'm gonna start at the, so ideally, if you're creating an exercise library, about 15 seconds per video. Obviously, if you're recording a whole hit session, like a 20 minute hit session, you're not gonna be cutting out individual videos. So I'm just gonna to go to the start of the exercise. I'm gonna click that button there and just hit split. And then I'm gonna delete that first bit. So I've just got this part of the movement, right? And then I'm gonna go Finish it there at the top of the movement and split, right? Then delete, flip it. Right, so I've got 17 seconds worth of video. Right, what you can do is, if you'd like to put a title on it, it's dead simple. So you just get the first five seconds of the video. We're gonna pause it there. Split, again. We're gonna select the start of the video and then hit the T button, which is the text button. This standard one's quite good on um, on iMovie. Delete this, and then this is a pretty poor burpee. So I'm gonna hit burpee. I'm gonna hit burpee. Simple, right? And then I'm gonna delete this and this, right? And then that burpee title will go straight after this. Boom! Right in one. That there, we hit done, upload. What I would suggest is creating a free YouTube channel, right? The only reason I'm saying this is because it can upload straight to YouTube, which makes things dead easy. Right, so that leads me on to my next topic. So online training software is the easiest way to get programs out to your clients. And there's plenty of ways of doing this and there's plenty of companies that offer it. I use Trainerize and I've used Trainerize for the past seven years. It's in fact past nearly eight years. It's been absolutely amazing. I can template programs. I'm not gonna go into a huge amount of details because I'm gonna post the links below to all three that I suggest, PT Hub, um, Fit Coach and Trainerize and you can have a scope out of each one. And I'm pretty sure all of them are doing free trials at the minute or you get a month free. So check them out and have a look, but they all link to a YouTube channel so you can individually upload every YouTube, every video to your YouTube channel and then it goes 
straight onto LinkedIn to the training software. You don't necessarily have to do this. You can use, Google, I know a lot of you use Google spreadsheets, but having that, um, having the exercise library available to you and sending it to your clients is gonna be so important over the next uh, coming months. Um, so if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm happy to help. Just shout me. I can even edit some of your videos for you if you're really struggling. But honestly, I'm, I'm here to help. And if you, if, you do, if you have enjoyed the video, like and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have a lot of time right over the next uh, couple of months because just like you, a lot of my work has been cancelled. Luckily, I do have an online platform already set up. So I am sending home workouts and clients, uh, home workouts and programs to to my clients but you know it's it's a testing time for the fitness industry and um if you're watching this and you've got any sort of following on social media we need to be responsible with what we're sharing on social media be as positive as possible we've got to put out a positive message and just know that our industry is going to boom when this is over Everyone's going to be mad keen to get back into the gym and getting fit and healthy. There's going to be people that aren't able to lift any weights or anything. You know, like you might have some clients that do have weights and, or a home gym at home. They're, they're a very few and far between, between. So just remember that the people that are putting out these positive messages and providing their clients with a good service and they're, they're the ones that are going to benefit from the boom in the industry when it does eventually happen and it will happen. So... Thanks, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.